Here we have a series of three laser levels. Each level sends out a laser of light that travels in a straight line. As a result, we have a series of three parallel lines. Here we have a petri dish that has been filled with some water, some red food coloring dye, and some baby powder. The baby powder you can also use cornstarch. And as a result of the curved nature of the petri dish, which is shaped sort of like a convex lens, the laser light beams are refracting through the petri dish. They are the paths of the light are bending inward to a common point. In real life, the lens of an eyeball is not going to be that perfectly round and circle. It's going to be more narrow and thinner. Here we're bringing in a piece of paper with a curved line. The curved line represents the back of the eyeball. And the beams of light converge and focus at a single point on the rods and cones, the cells that detect the light. Here we have a model of an eyeball, and you can see the front of the eyeball we have the cornea, which is the surface of the eyeball, and we're going to take off the top layer of the eyeball, and we're going to see the next layer in. You see the iris in the pupil. We're going to take off this next layer, which is going to reveal the lens, which is behind the iris in the pupil. Behind the lens is a series of liquid, which the light travels through. And we see this lens is a convex lens. It's big in the middle and tapered toward the edges. Now here we can see the back of the eyeball. So as light travels through the convex lens, the convex lens refracts the light, in other words, bends the path of light so it focuses and meets at a single point at the back of the eyeball where the rods and cone cells are there. They detect light and then send a signal through the optic nerve to the brain.